peace on earth, goodwill towards men, or goodwill towards all. Peace, shalom, a completeness is something that our world has yearned for ever since the stories from the beginning of creation. Peace is something that each and every one of us try and seek in our lives. But because of things beyond our own control, we sometimes have little peace. Of course, sometimes they're just our wars and rumors of wars. This year marks 100 years since the war to end all wars. <laughs> the war to end all wars, World War I. It's sad that there was a World War II. And on this holy night, something miraculous happened on the fields of that war. Just a few months after the beginning of the war, something amazing happened at night. The Germans were in their trenches a couple hundred yards away. The English and the French were in their trenches. And on that night, each side started to hear Christmas carols. The Germans were singing Stille Nacht, Heilige Nacht, the English silent night, holy night. Many thought what happened on that night was just a legend, but what happened the next day was amazing. Just a couple days ago, the English newspapers released a letter by one of the members of the military that was there that night. And I want to read his words so you can get a glimpse of what happened. This was written by 2nd Lieutenant Alfred Dugan Chater of the 2nd Gordon Highlander, so he must have been Scottish. And he writes of the moment when the men met in the no man's land, exchanging souvenirs and cigars and impromptu truces were held along parts of the front between Christmas and New Year, with even joint burial parties. The letter that was written was dated and signed Dugan on Christmas Day. And here's what he wrote. Dearest mother, I am writing this in the trenches in my dugout with a wood fire going and plenty of straw. It is rather cozy, although it is freezing hard in real Christmas weather. I think I have seen today one of the most extraordinary sights that anyone has ever seen. About 10 o'clock this morning, I was peeping over the parapet when I saw a German waving his arms and presently two of them got out of their trenches and came towards us. We were just going to fire on them when we saw that they had no rifles. So one of our men went to meet them and in about two minutes the ground between the two lines of trenches was swarming with men and officers of both sides shaking hands and wishing each other a happy Christmas. This continued for about half an hour when most of the men were ordered back to the trenches. For the rest of the day, nobody has fired a shot and the men have been wandering about at will on top of the parapet and carrying straw and firewood about in the open. We have also had joined burial parties with a service for some dead, some German and some arm of ours who were lined out between the lines. Dugan writes of shaking hands himself with several of the German officers and describes another parley with the Germans in the middle 
where cigarettes and autographs were exchanged and some more people took photos. I don't know how long it will go on for. I believe it was supposed to stop yesterday. But we can hear no firing going on along the front today except at a little distant shelling. We are at any rate having another truce on New Year's Day. So the Germans want to see how the photos came out. <laughs> he continues, the Germans in this part of the line are sportsmen if they are nothing else. Now I know a few of you in this room know firsthand what war is like. And all of us know what wars are like in our own lives. Whether it be wars and ravages with loved ones that we cannot reconcile with. Whether it be wars with Mother Nature. Whether it be wars with those in authority. But God sent God's Son, Jesus Emmanuel, God with us on this night so that we who have been at war may finally find peace. Imagine what our world would be like if we would be like the Dugans and the Germans who would come in the midst of our differences and come together in our common beliefs in the goodness of all humanity and the taking care of those less fortunate. What would our world be like if we would be peacemakers instead of war mongers? Now sadly that truce, that was the only time that that happened the commanders weren't too pleased that it didn't happen the next Christmas. It would be another few years before the American boys would go on over and finally that war to end all wars would be finished. Dugan would retire and die in 1985. But he always carried with him in his heart the truth that in the midst of even the greatest difficulties in the world, that we, especially we who love God through Jesus Christ, can and must find peace with one another. Peace on earth. Goodwill towards all. My sisters and my brothers, if you are at war tonight, whether it be with yourself or somebody else or, or the world, I pray that you can be like Dugan. I pray that you can be like the shepherds and find the stillness and peace which only the Christ child can bring. Amen.